Up, you know already what is not good for you and not right and right for you or something like so he's the one who encourages me i want her to be uh, healthy. healthy i'd rather know if it's something we can get fixed early if there is anything wrong but as yeah. far as we know everything is just perfect so we're this morning getting at her uh, labs to uh, make sure everything's yeah, and after this, we plan to go get his dress, braces. Yes, we don't want to get braces. Uh, yeah. I know I'm old for getting it, but I've always wanted them. And it's more affordable here in the Philippines than it is in the States. And he is he really need to be braced because yeah, his, teeth, lower teeth. Yeah, his lower teeth is going to, you know, get like inside. And that biting is not, it's not normal, it's like mine. So I get I get my braces as well because of my you know my bite is not normal. Yeah. So we'll see you guys later. Hi. Bye. -bye. Hey everybody. All right, we're here at the dentist waiting for the dentist to arrive. I'm gonna get braces, and so am I. So I'm here is gonna get her readjusted. See you guys in a moment. Hello everybody. Alright, so it's been about almost actually 24 hours since I've had my uh, braces put on. I want to explain um, more clearly why I had braces done at such a late age. Basically, years ago, I went to a dentist for my cleanup and they mentioned that I need to get braces because I had an overbite and that if I don't get braces that years from now I would have a hard time chewing food. Well I looked into it about getting braces and I had dental insurance. 
problem was the policy for the, this dental, uh, dental plan I had, dent, uh, orthodontics, braces and everything, uh, covers up to, if you're, I think, if I was up to 23 or 24 years old, or something like that. And I was about 30 something, I think, at the time. Basically, I had no insurance to cover it. And they wanted to charge like $2,000, I believe it was, to get these braces. So I, I could not afford that. So I never got it. And then fast forward decades later, my previous job, I remember a co-worker came back from vacation in the Philippines and he had braces. And he told me how much it was and I was like excited because I'm thinking, okay, I, I know I need to get braces because as the years went by, I could see what the, the uh, dentist was saying was true. My overbite was getting worse and every once in a while my jaw would be out of line. So I just, uh, but I couldn't do a thing about it because of the fact that you get braces, you need to do follow-ups. Well, the, uh, why he chose, that's his choice. Uh, I didn't want to do it right then because we would be, I would be going from country to country. There would be no way for me to do a follow-up. Well, a few months ago, Masawa Sweet, she uh, mentioned that she wanted to get braces. So I said, well, look into it, how much it costs. Because I, at this time, I had forgotten how much it had cost. And she came back and she told me it was like 5,000 pesos, which is roughly $100. Now imagine that. In America, they want to charge me about $2,000. Here in the Philippines, $100 for the same braces. I said, go ahead, get it. You know, gave her the money, get it. And then she said that every month it's like a thousand pesos for readjustments and free teeth cleaning. Okay. And that, that's like, I think 20 bucks, I think it is. Something like that for a, a thousand pesos. And um, when I saw the results after two months of how uh, it was working for her, more excited I got that I, I'm i gonna get it. I knew I was retiring. I knew that I would be here to do follow-ups so this wouldn't be a problem. So I went and after shortly after I got here, which as you guys saw, I got these. See this is how it looks now. Now originally the dentist wanted to do the bottom teeth first and then the top teeth. I thought I just needed the bottom, not the top, but he said, no, you need it for both. So he tried to do the bottom one, and for whatever reason, I guess the overbite is such a dramatic difference that whatever he was trying to do with the bottom teeth was not working. So he said, uh, the plan will be do the top teeth, put the braces on there. Let time go by, let the teeth readjust, and then it, hopefully it'll be much closer to the bottom teeth, I guess in alignment, that they can put the braces on at the bottom teeth and go from there. We got that done, and then after I got my uh, braces put on, then my then uh, sweet, she went and got her teeth readjusted. I mean, her uh, braces readjusted because it, it was that time of the month for her to get that done. So it worked out well for both of us. So next month and months down the road, we'll both go the same day, get the same procedure done with our braces. Now the dentist said I would lose, or I would feel pain in my teeth. Well, I have not. Um, now he did say no pain, no gain. But, well, that's true, that's what they used to say in the military. What I do feel now, compared to prior, is I can feel my teeth are, uh, seem like they're much closer to each other. I don't really feel much 
pain, so I don't know if I should be concerned about that. I do have a little bit of a headache, but um, the challenge I have is I, I have to avoid eating hard food. I have to eat soft food or smoothies. Now, fortunately, my Sawa, for, she's had her braces, I think, for a couple of months now. And so what I'm going through, she's already gone through. And so she's better prepared how to handle our food. He's eating the chicken soup there. Chicken soup. You like it? Must have up. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, enjoy your meal. Uh, right now, if you're wondering where she is, she and her sister are gone shopping. And, you know, to spend time with her sister, you know, bonding time. So, I hope they have fun. Um, I don't know if I, met, if I mentioned this already, so if I did, forgive me for repeating it. But um, the lab results came back for her, and she's in perfect health. And that's great news. Welcome to the South Just a So we're going to do the window shopping and some uh, appointment and video. So I'm gonna finish first this one and then we're going to supermarket. So see you later. Bye. visit my Asawa's uh, auntie. Uh, she wants to see me. I, I, I met her before, but she wants to see me. So that's out in the province. So we're going to go do that and we're going to go to the beach. And So it's going to be a good day and we'll bring you guys along with us. So until next time, you guys take care of yourself and the ones you love. Bye-bye.